Welcome back to Swordbox. Thanks for tuning in today. We're talking this week about how big is your God. So let's check out our verse. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah 43, 19. It's one of my favorite verses. I've used it several times here on Swordbox. I'm sure we'll use it some more. It's just a great thing when you realize, you know what? God can do anything. And whatever he's calling you to do, he will equip you to do. And he will do it through you. You just have to be obedient to him. So let's check out the life of Moses and see what God had in store for him. You know, Moses had fleed Egypt. He had committed murder. And now Moses found himself as a shepherd way out in the desert for 40 long years. And I imagine after 40 years of being a shepherd, he'd gotten pretty, you know, pretty complacent, pretty comfortable in his life. Probably didn't expect he would do much else other than be a shepherd for the rest of his days and enjoy his family. But as we know, God had different plans for Moses. And God appeared to Moses out in the middle of the desert in a burning bush. But this burning bush wasn't just on fire. You know, the leaves, the, the, the twigs, they didn't consume. They just continued to burn. And so this got Moses' attention. And as he drew near to the bush, we know the story. The voice said, you know, take off your shoes. You're on holy ground. And God began to speak to Moses and began to tell Moses that he was going to use him to set his people free. The Israelites were captive in Egypt, and they were slaves, and God had heard and seen the oppression of his people and was going to use Moses to set his people free. So down in first, verse 10, God says, Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. That was a pretty tall order that God was asking Moses to do. But, you know, if that's all we think of it is just a cool Bible story and we don't relate that to our lives, we're missing the whole point. These things are written and recorded for our benefit so that we can learn. So whoever you are, wherever you are, it doesn't matter how old you are, God is asking you to do something. You know, what is that that God is asking you to do today? So I, I encourage you to take some time and ask him. Find out what it is God wants you to do. But before we go thinking, you know, Moses was perfect, Moses had some fear. You know, in verse 11 of chapter 3, Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh, and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? Moses realized what God had asked him to do. You know, he looked at himself and he thought, You know what, I can't do this. You know what, and he was right. But God could do it through Moses. So what excuses do we give God? Who am I? I can't do it. It's impossible. I don't see how. You know what, we look at the problem, we look at the task, and then we look in the mirror and we lose heart. Don't look in the mirror when God asks you to do something. Just look at God. In verse 20, God gave Moses some assurance. He said, So I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in its midst. After that, he will let you go. And God gave Moses a staff that when he threw it down, it turned into a snake. And when he picked it up, it turned into a, a staff again. Moses could put his, his hand in the inside of his robe and pull it out and it would have leprosy and put it in and out, and it would be whole again. So God gave Moses some mighty, mighty things to do that, of course, none of us have ever seen anything quite like that. Of course, the power was from God, and Moses had to believe in God for that power. We tend to look at these examples in the Bible sometimes, and we, we distance our lives from them. But you know what? These were real people. Moses was a real man just like us. The people were, of Israel were really slaves, and they had real, real suffering, real oppression, and they were hopeless to deliver themselves. And Moses, you know, he was just a shepherd. And before we judge his doubt and his fear, you know, how would you feel if God told you to go into a foreign country today and deliver a group of people from a mighty nation and do it with a stick? You know what? I don't care what that stick did. I would be afraid to go, and you know I would have some doubts. So it would definitely take God talking me into it and convincing me that this is what I needed to do. So tomorrow we'll pick up, we'll talk a little bit about um, some of the uh, struggles that we may have when we've been told to go do something that we don't feel like we can do, and maybe we've got some fears, and we're going to talk about those. But I just want you to think about today, how big is your God? Because He is a very big and He is a very mighty God, and whatever He tells you to do, He'll help you to do it. God bless you, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.